how to create all kinds of spiral shape designs in Affinity Photo, PC or Mac, very quickly. You could use any shape, but the best one, double star tool. So select that and drag. Now I filled it with a gradient, gives it a bit of depth straight away. You can also modify points, so you can increase or decrease those. Still live all the way through. But the next thing, go to layer, down to new live filter layer, distort and twirl. So select that, bring up the dialogue, and then you can change the angle. Now if you change the angle there, you can see that, and you can move that there. But what you can also do is you can interactively modify the origin point. As long as this panel is available, you just move it around and change it to create all kinds of unique spirals. But what you can also do, close it. And then you can go back here to the double star. You can also expand this out so you can see now, twirl is not selected, but the double star is. And you can modify the number of points. So just increase that or decrease it. Also change the inner radius. You can also interactively modify these settings as well to can create different spiral shapes. But what you can also do is go back here to the move tool, select that, and then just go up here, lock children. Click, set that on. Now with the double star selected, go to the move tool and then just drag this around. And again, you can change the spiral very quickly. Also, you can modify here the points. So you can increase those, decrease those, but also, at any point, go back to the twirl. Double click, bring that up again, and you can modify the settings. Maybe increase the angle. Also, change the origin point again, to create again, even more spiral designs. Close that. Go back here. Also, with the double star selected, you can always go to effects. So just click here, and then you've got maybe an option for, say, 3D. Also, outer shadow, so add that. Set the radius offset to about middle and close. Still selected, use the move tool and you can reposition it again to create all kinds of spiral designs. You may decide you don't like this on the right side. Well, you can mask it. Simply go over here, select the double star, go down to the bottom, click and select mask. Then you can see a mask layer appear here. Then go to the selection tools. And I'm just going to use rectangle marquee tool. Select this part of the shape, then go to edit, and I can fill it. I can fill it with black. As long as it's black, click apply. And now I can remove that, select and deselect. I've just got that design. Again, I can go back to the double star, move tool, and I can reposition it. Now make certain that lock children is turned off. That's the key thing. So if you lock children and turn it on and move it, it will change. Just turn that off and then you can move it and reposition it. Select the shape, don't try and select this, because if you try and select this, it will not move. You need to select the shape itself, even though you can't see it. So you just move it around. Also what you can do, you can always duplicate it. Hold down the alter option key, and you can create a duplicate. Now at this point you might think, well, what can I do then? Well, you can apply transform. So you can always go to right click, and then go to transform and Maybe flip vertical or flip horizontal. So flip horizontal, and then you've got that design. Again, you can then move that, drag that down there, reposition it there, click that one. Maybe let's just select the right one, select that one, and move that up. And you can create all kinds of different shapes just using this approach. But also what you can do is you can modify these settings. So you can still change the star. You can still see the star is available. And you go here, points, and just tweak that. So as you do that, you can see you get a completely different design simply by modifying the points, as well as the inner radius, still active, so you can change that. Points radius to create even more spiral designs, which can be combined with the existing one here. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.